right, let's get this thing started. Cool. So uh, for those that don't know me, uh, my name is Abigail Poston, 26 years old out here in Arizona. I'm really, really excited, really grateful to um, be on this call, be, be the host of this call, and just share with you guys, pour into you over the next 20 minutes, 30 minutes or so. Uh, we'll see how, uh, how long we take this. But I know it is Sunday, so I want to respect your time. I know a lot of times uh, people like to take this, you know, this day to be with their family, you know, do the things, um, you know, to set up the week, prepare. So I want to respect that um, and definitely make sure I can get you guys the proper information. So with that being said, this call, um, it's called Zoom to Success for those that don't know. I know some new people are on here if you're watching the recording. And we do these calls every single Sunday. And uh, the purpose and the goal of these calls are really to shift the way that you think, honestly, to, to build your belief along your trading journey, um, your leadership journey, wherever you're at, you know, with this platform, whatever you're taking advantage of, and to really help you uh, stay on track. And I think something that I've really come to realize, it, you know, over my, my journey, my takeaways is, you know, it's about breaking new levels of awareness. And I, and I really, you know, the leaders and I, we have a call every Saturday. Um, to really make sure that what we're doing here is to help people grow, you know, give them that guidance and direction that they're looking for you guys um, and really make sure that you guys have a path, um, you know, forward to whatever you want to achieve, whatever you want to accomplish and take advantage of throughout your journey. And so we want to make sure that this environment, these calls, and we do these every week. Okay. You guys are all qualified to be here. I know it's a really cliche thing to say, but it's so true. Sometimes, um, you know, we have to hear things over and over again for it to finally click. And I know we were at an event with Alex Morton, um, vice president of, of uh, I Am Mastery Academy yesterday. And he was saying, you know, you're going to have to hear and see and feel things multiple times. And, you know, before maybe it clicks. And uh, that was, that was super profound, um, you know, just, just entirety of yesterday. But we want to make sure that we can create an environment, okay? Because a lot of times um, it's mostly virtual, especially right now, where it's abundant, where, you know, it's growth conducive to you. And you can come in here and not only have a kind of like a safe haven, um, but know that you're going to get value. You're going to get perspective and insight to better your journey, build your belief, and honestly shift the way that you think. And I know I always say this, but it's so true. We all want different results. Like you're here for a reason. You're here to, to grow you. You're not paying me to get information or value. Like I, I'm, I'm here and I know everybody else that you guys are working with, we're here to provide that for you. Um, to give you that extra guidance, but you're here as a, you know, to better your success. It's volunteer. Okay. And if I can give you guys some nuggets and point you in the right direction, then that, that is really, um, you know, all that matters, but it starts with the way that you think. And if we can shift the way that you think, right, your thought process, then over time, it's going to help you shift the way that you take action. And we know that if you take the right actions consecutively, consistently over time, what does that do? It builds and forms the proper habits. And when you have the right habits in your life, it becomes automatic. Guess what? It yields the right results that you're looking for. So it all starts with the information that you take in, the people that you're listening to. And this is just one way that we can do that. So guys, the main topic of today's call, sometimes these Sunday calls, they're, they're going to be more mindset edition. They're going to have, you know, more trader edition, um, panels, partner up, things like that. Today, it's mindset. And I really wanted to discuss um, you know, the, the big question of, do you have a trading plan? And not only that, take it, you know, take it another level deeper, but do you have a vision for your life? Do you know where you're going and why this question, why these questions are so important is because most people, if you ask them, where are you going? What are your goals? They, they don't know. They don't have any goals. They don't have any clear, definite of purpose, specific detailed goals. They just don't. And most of the time it's because they just, they probably don't know how to set goals and they don't believe that their goals and their dreams are actually attainable, um, which is a sad reality. And that's why I love being able to be a part of this and do what I do because we can inspire others and empower others to realize you can have whatever you want. You can believe, you know, you know, you're worthy enough to believe in yourself. You just have to be willing to do the work. Okay. So ask yourself as I'm rolling through these are rhetorical right now, but ask yourself, do you have a trading plan? Seriously. I'm going, to, I'm going to share my screen in just a second, but do you have a trading plan? Do you have a vision for your life? Where are you going? Because it doesn't matter. We know this. It doesn't matter where you've come from, where you've been. Honestly, where you are even right now. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Okay? What matters is where you're going. So you've got to have that vision for yourself. And you can start today after this call writing it down where you want to go. 
Um, an individual that I look up to and I listen to all the time, his name is Andy Frisella, and he talks about this concept of a thousand days. And he said, you know, look at your life right now. It's a result of what you've done, obviously more than this, but it's a result of what you've done over the last thousand days. I know a lot of people like to say 90 day increments and that's valid as well, but really, you know, the grand scheme of things, right? Big picture, thousand days. And uh, I know that seems like a long time, but guys, that's like two and a half years. Time's going to go by anyways, right? And, uh, you know, you just got to ask yourself, what are you going to do with your time? And, I, and I've taken notes for this call because I always get a little, and I'm just being transparent with you guys, giving you some context. Um, I, always got, I always get a little nervous to jump on calls um, and, and, you know, share, share some of this stuff because I know, I know what I, I have to share. Um, I've gotten from mentors. I've gotten from personal realizations. And I know how powerful it's been for me. And I want to make sure that I can give it to you as, you know, most genuinely and authentic as possible from my heart to yours, um, so that you can go out and apply this into your life. And I take this stuff really seriously because I know what it's done for me. And I know the breakthroughs that it's, you know, and those aha moments that it can do for you and really allowing you to realize your, your potential. But I want you to sit with this question too, because a question that we had talked about um, yesterday with some of the leaders is, you know, do you take, um, this is with their business, you know, do you take your business seriously? And then I translated it to, do you take yourself seriously? right? So we can, we can exchange the same concept here. Do you take your trading seriously, right? Do you take your trading seriously? Break that down even further. Do you take yourself seriously? Because if you don't take yourself seriously, the chances of you taking any other area of your life seriously are very slim. And that's why I wanted to break it down to a plan. Um, I know Josh and I, Josh Gordon, we have this we've had this conversation a couple times about, you know, following the plan, sticking to the plan. And uh, Alex Morton touched on that yesterday. You've got to have a plan for yourself. Where are you going? What are the things that you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis to win the day, to make sure that you're on track to hitting the goals um, in your life and continuing to elevate who you are as a person? Oftentimes, it doesn't even matter what you're doing. It matters who you're being. Because you could be, listen, guys, this is huge. You could be at the right place at the right time, but if you're not the right, like if you, if you are not the right person, like if you are not in the right state of being is what I'm trying to say, doesn't matter. doesn't matter. If you're at the right place at the right time, but if, but if you're not right with yourself, uh, -uh it's not going to lie. It's not going to add up. So that's why it's so important to constantly be personally developing yourself and growing because you could have everything aligned, but if you're not right, doesn't matter. That's, it's like saying, you know, you could have all the money in the world, but you know, if the way that you, you are making that money, um, you know, you're, you're not fulfilled by that. doesn't matter. It's not going to solve your problems, right? So that's why we want to get super clear with these things um, along our journey because, guys, trading, making money in trading is inevitable if you stay consistent. Like, doing the work gets you results, period, end of story. Do the right work long enough, you will get the results. Stop thinking. Like, I used to think this all the time. It took me 10 months to believe in myself, y'all. Say this story all the time. It took me 10 months to believe in myself. And by the way, this is not a call about me to giving, to give you guys a trading plan. I'm just telling y'all right now, this is not me on this call. I'm not going to give you guys a trading plan. I'm going to shift the way that you think about the way that you take your trading. How do you, like, are you taking yourself seriously? Are you taking your trading seriously? And going back to my concept of making money, you need to stop thinking. If you think like this, you need to stop thinking of if I make money, then this, this, and that, you know, is this really going to work out? No, if you think that way, guess what? It's always going to be an eventually thing. Oh, you know, I'll eventually get there. I'll eventually make money. I'll no, like you're like you cannot think like that. And I and I want to be able to shift your mentality of look, you do the right things long enough, you're going to get the results. You do the work, you're going to get the results. Period. End of story. But I think the the concept that most people cannot um, accept, okay, is the time that it takes to get there. Everybody wants to make money right now. Guys, stop thinking like that. This is not a place to make money quick. You're not going to make money overnight. Yes, you can, but I am not going to lead that way because it's going to be a false illusion of what this really is because, oh my God, let me, let me backtrack. <laughs> this is so important, okay? This is, a, this is a three to five year plan for growth. And every time I say that, I know there's somebody thinking, oh my God, that's a long time. Guys, come on. What's your plan to create financial freedom over the next three to five years? If it's not trading, what is your plan to create financial freedom? Freedom, whatever that means to you. It doesn't even have to be, you know, millions and millions of dollars. It could be, you know, making an extra $5,000 a month. It could be building your trading account to multiple five figures. 
where else are you going to do that? That's why I say three to five year plan for growth, because you're not going to see it in any other place. It, it, the places that, that it's going to take you to do three to five years, you're not going to see it. And if you do amazing, pursue that, just stay consistent. But this is digital, it's recession proof. And I think the coolest part is you have a community and you have the ability to be a part of, you know, constant ongoing education. That's not just teaching you a direct skill set that shows you how to multiply money, but you actually get to learn how money works and how to get it to work for you. Okay. So I, I wanted to take this through a couple of things. I'm going to talk about uh, three things in just a second, but I do want to share my screen for those that just need a recap. Okay. That just need a recap of like where you need to start. And maybe you've been here for a minute and you're just like, Hey, I need to, I need to get my, my train tracks back on the track. You maybe derailed a little bit, took a little side road. So, um, hopefully I should have started sharing my screen with this, but these are the questions. Do you have a trading plan? Do you have a vision for your life? No, these you're not clear on this right now. Get clear y'all. Clarity is so important. Clarity is so important. Okay. So, um, number one, you guys should all know what this looks like. The I am center. I have this guy's bookmark on my computer right here. First thing on my list, I have a bookmark. So that's what you need to do. Go for it. Um, this is just like a, a general, you know, screen. What you want to do first, if you haven't done this already is you want to make sure that you go through the Academy 100 and 200 series videos. Okay. There's a lot of different tabs, different languages, different academies available. You want to start here. And you want to make sure that you go through, see how it says 103, 104, so on and so forth. You want to make sure that you go through the 100 series videos first and then the 200. Okay. You can go on to the other videos at your own pace. The first part is the 100 and 200 series videos. The second part, the second part of this is the actual go live. This is where you're probably going to be most of the time. I can guarantee you um, those that are already in here oh, after, you know, they've been in within their first 30 days, they're already here. If you're taking this seriously, if you're, if you're staying consistent, if you take yourself seriously, you're on your stuff. You're doing this. No excuses. And guys, I, I, I like to be super transparent and real because we cannot grow if we're fake. We cannot grow if we're not real. I'm just being serious, guys. We, if you want to grow in your life, you've got to be as transparent as possible. And most people don't want to be transparent. They don't want to be real because it hurts. It's painful. It stings. And uh, that's the process. Process exposes you. And that's why I love trading because trading is just like personal development, but on steroids. It literally exposes you as a human being, but it makes you better if you stay persistent, if you persevere through the painful times. And that's why I love this skill set because it's you versus you. I look back at myself in the mirror every single day. This is what I got to deal with. You have to deal with you. Do you like you or, do, or, or what? Do the work. You'll get the results. It's not an if, it's a when. Just stay consistent long enough. Mike, Mike Sotero, Chairman 25, you're going to hear his name a lot. Uh, a huge mentor of mine, a great friend, somebody who's been in my corner um, since really I met him for the first time. He told me yesterday, um, he was like, Abby, what do we need for, um, you know, next blah, blah, blah. Not even going to talk about it, but what do we need, you know, further? And I was like, look, man, I just haven't been consistent. That's what it was. Um, and he said, we just had a heart to heart conversation. He's, he basically said this was, this was like, so key. He said, when you stop being consistent, you literally take yourself out of the game. When you stop being consistent, you literally take yourself out of the game. You don't even give yourself a shot to win. <laughs> and it hit me so hard. Um, when he said it like that, it was just super simple and direct. And I was like, yeah, I needed, I needed that. Cool. I appreciate that when you can be real. Um, so think about that for you. Every time you stop, you tell yourself, hey, you know, I'm going to do this every day. And it goes, you know, you're consistent for three, four days. And then the fifth day comes and you're not. God, you got to start over, right? So this is a non-negotiable, committed. So you're going to come here, okay? Um, and you want to come, honestly, you can go, I think they're moving things around because they used to have the um, beginner section. But just go right here. If you have the FRX for, for an exchange pack or, um, by HFX or DCX, whatever. Most people are going to start with the FRX. Just come right here. Okay. And you can go through and find an educator. Honestly, there's, there's classes that are on throughout the day at any given time. Um, if they're not watch a recording of somebody that you really like, and if you need some recommendations, just ask, um, we're always here to help. I think something that I wanted to share, Oh wait, I gotta go back. 
Um, something that I wanted to share as a starter, whether you've been in for a minute or you're just starting, if you haven't tapped into go live yet, or whether you're, you know, you're watching somebody already, this is going to be an absolute game changer. I just clicked on Mike Navarrete, write his name down, Mike Navarrete, his name's right here, right here. Um, this individual has completely shifted my entire mentality when it comes to trading. I'm going to pull this up so you guys can see. Okay. Um, if you go to his favorite sessions right here, okay, and you scroll down, there's like two or three, yeah, three videos that you should definitely watch. Um, number one is this one right here. Treat your trading like a business. Treat your trading like a business. Okay. Stupid, simple trading workbook. <laughs> This one changed the game for me completely. And uh, last one is questions you should ask yourself be before trading this week. You should watch these videos first, whether you haven't tapped into go live yet or you've already been on go live and you have your educator. That's incredible. Like I know Josh and Tony and a lot of other, you guys, you guys watch DeLorean. That's incredible. Keep watching them. That's your educator. Um, but I highly, highly, highly encourage you to watch these videos. Um, because it's not going to detract from your strategy. It's going to add to your level of awareness of how to treat this, how to handle trading as a business, how to get organized um, and give you that insight and that perspective. Okay. Not trying to take away from your educator or anything like that. I just know that this is going to enhance your trading journey when it comes to organization and your mentality and your attitude when it comes to your trading. You've got to treat it like a business. And these, these three videos right here are absolutely key. Um, what I would say is, uh, if you haven't gone through the Academy 100, 200 series videos, do that first, do that first and then watch these and then go and explore, go explore the, uh, the Academy, find a couple educators that you like, find out some strategies or a strategy that, that really vibes with you guys, bottom line, be consistent with it. Okay. So, um, and then the last thing I'll just share with you and then I'm going to dive into those three steps and then, um, we'll kind of wrap things up. But, uh, this is a welcome guide. The uh, I am Academy tools and resources. It's a Google doc. Um, if you do not have this, please let me know. Um, I will post it in the chat after this call. So you guys will have it. Um, but this is like, you know, your intro, your, your syllabus when you get started. And I know that sounds kind of cheesy, but you know, this is to really help you stay on track throughout your process. Um, you can start here if you're brand new. Okay. Um, it's going to take you right to the actual welcome guide and it's going to go through like five steps for you um, to make sure that you're on track. This is detailed. Make sure you are clear on your why, why you're doing this. Make sure you're clear on your goals. This will break this down. Again, go through the 100, 200 series videos. If you forget, it's right here. Tune into the go live sessions, okay? Practice on a demo account and buy, like for the sake of God, track your trades. Use this trading workbook. You're gonna watch that, um, that video right here with Mike Navarrete that I was showing you guys, okay? So all this is right here. There's other trading resources. If you want a direct link to the trading workbook, it's right here in the welcome guide. So you can just go right to it, literally follow what Mike Navarrete says. There's a few other videos that you guys can watch. And for anybody that's on this call that has a desire to build the business, to actually share this and make an impact on people and earn a residual income, you can start here with the leadership training, okay? Everything's right here, one pager, take you to, to where you guys need to go. Cool. So, um, let me see the chat. Cool. So the three things, God, I wrote down some things that I want to share with you guys. I'm going to start with the three things first. So I already said consistency, be consistent. We all know how important it is to be consistent, but within that consistency, you've got to have a plan, right? Stick to the plan, follow the plan. What's your plan? I can't tell that to you. You got to know, you've got to plug in. And sometimes you like, you, you're a little impatient. I was a little impatient. You want to know right now. It's okay. You go through your process and your process will reveal to you what you need to do. Your process will reveal to you who you already are and you can step into that and, and continue to become that person. You just got to do every day. Non-negotiables. What are your non-negotiables? Set that up. I write it down every night and the next day I cross it off. My non-negotiables for the day without fail. And I put a big W on my paper at the end of the day when I've crossed everything off and I'm like, yep, won the day. You do that every day for a week, you've won the week. You do that every day for a month, guess what? You've won the month. It's okay. You're going to have L's. Learn from it, right? So stay consistent. Obviously, we understand. 
stick to the plan long enough, three to five years right here to create financial freedom. Seriously, financial freedom. $6.6 trillion per day market, a million dollars does not put a dent in the market. $1 million does not put a dent in this market. Go get your piece. I'm going to just say this last thing too. Listen to this. I remember Mike Miles said this. He's an educator on Go Live. Incredible, incredible, incredible. If you want quantum leaps in the way that you think, watch his sessions. He's incredible. Um, he actually is on tonight. So you guys should, should tune into him. I think, I think 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 a.m. Eastern. I think that's what he is. But he said the same concept, the same way that you make $5 in this market is the exact same way that you're going to make $50 exact same way you're going to make $500, $5,000. Use your imagination and keep putting zeros, whatever number you decide. The same way. And when I heard that, I was like, okay, cool. Let me just learn this skill. And I'll let the compound effect work for me. And when you look at the trading workbook um, in, the, in the welcome guide, okay, it's going to show you the compound effect in real time. And it's not going to be perfect. You're going to have weeks where you're, you're ahead and you're behind. Don't focus on the numbers. Just see it as a guide. Don't be attached. Connected to everything, attached to nothing. Write that down. Connected to everything, attached to nothing. You're going to hear it today, and maybe that's the first time you heard it. I remember the first time I heard it, I didn't really think twice about it. But as I heard it another 100 times, I was like, yes, that's what that means. Um, okay, consistency. Coachable. We all know coachability. Got to be coachable. If you want to really succeed through your plan. Can you follow instructions? Can you follow directions? <laughs> they said that yesterday and it was pretty funny can you follow directions <laughs> um seriously though can you and this process will really teach you and show you and reveal to you uh if you can or not so coachability is super important it's basically literally taking this information from this call going to the welcome guide going to the 100 and 200 series today if you have it or going on go live um and starting to you know write out your schedule for that Coachability is literally your willingness to change. If somebody tells you what to do, a mentor, somebody you look up to, you respect, you want to learn from, you want the results that they have, it's doing what they say. That's it. So coachability. And then lastly, um, it's kind of all these kind of tying in together is clarity. Do you have clarity of vision? Do you have clarity for where you're going? Are you clear on where you're going? What does that look like? Describe it in detail. Get specific. Um, I think Mike Navarrete was saying, you know, the more color and detail and taste that you can have with your vision, because he visualizes and I've been starting to visualize as well, just like 10 minutes every night on where I see myself, you know, at the end of this year, where I see myself in a thousand days, all these things. And, I, and I'm starting to really get detailed with it, seeing it. And, you know, we understand, um, maybe you don't, I, I, didn't, I didn't know this in the beginning, but what you see in your spiritual, right, in your mind. There's a delay in time. There's a delay between what you create in your mind versus what is actually physically manifested. There's a delay. And most people don't realize that delay. And so they get impatient and then they quit before they even allow themselves to get started. Don't do that. This can come to fruition for you if you just allow yourself to, you know, have that time to reap the, the rewards, reap the results of your efforts continuous efforts every day. Okay. Clarity of vision. Um, and then just the last couple of things that I just wanted to share because this is really important. I was on the call with Jason and um, one of my really great friends, SJ, she's out in Australia. She's been trading for almost five years. Um, incredible person, human being. Sometimes she'll do calls with us and um, make sure you guys are on them because she's shifted so much for me more than just financial increase. Um, but so much empowerment. And uh, I remember Jason was on the call and uh, he said, this is so great. Um, he said, amateurs chase money. They get started and all they want to do is make money. Don't worry. I was the same way. I was in over 100K student loan debt. And uh, I was like, yeah, I got to make $500 every month. Like tomorrow <laughs> to like pay my payments. And it doesn't work like that. I tell everybody, if you want to make money ASAP, go build a business. You can, you can build a team of 12 and create a, a residual income of 600 bucks every month. But if you want to create long lasting income, generational wealth, right? Learn how to trade, which residual income will give you that too. But if you want fast money, go build a business, but do it authentically. Actually share this with people you care about and you believe in. Um, so amateurs chase money, professionals chase vision. And when he said that, I was like, yo, 
I needed to hear that when I first got started. Professionals chase vision. And that's why I love the trading workbook um, because it gives people that vision. I don't have to do anything. I just say, hey, go here. And I let Mike Navarrete do all the talking and right system. And I give them the trading workbook in, in the, in the uh, welcome guide and they can see it for themselves. I did this the other day with, with one of my guys and he texted me back and he was like, holy crap, like, this is the best thing ever. I literally wish I had this when I first got started because it gives them that vision of where they can take their money. So um, he said that. And then the other thing I wanted to share with you guys, um, this is all about becoming self-sufficient. It's all about becoming self-sufficient. It's all about taking personal responsibility. And uh, this is another big reason why a lot of people like don't stick around. Um, honestly, not just with trading, but anything worthwhile in life. <laughs> they, they don't want to take personal responsibility. They want to play the victim. They, you know, they want the easy way. Guys, this is the easy way. You could, like, you could spend the rest of your life trading your time for money every day. <laughs> like, y'all understand the cash flow quadrant? Trading your time for money is, the, like, the worst way to make money. The most ineffective and efficient way to make money. Like, come on. So, we, like, we have the shortcut. We have the easy way. This is, for most people, this is a financial starting point to learn how money works and how to get money to work for them. This is a financial starting point for most people. They just don't know how, they don't even know where to get started. This is their vehicle to take them where they're at right now and fill the gap of where they want to go. That's it, okay? So become self-sufficient, be able to rely on yourself and be humble enough to know that you don't know what you don't know. That's why I love the platform because it's not just, all right, Learn the skill and I'm done. Peace out. It's like, no, I get ongoing education. I'm almost four years into my journey, guys. So a lot of people are like, why are you still here? I'm like, because this is bigger than me and I'm a student. I want deeper mentorship. That's why I'm kind of like, I'm, I've been kind of like moving around from a couple people because I really want that, that next layer, that next level. Mike Miles says it best, breaking new levels of awareness. That's what I, that's what I focus on every day. How can I have more breakthroughs, realizations with my, with my process? Because when I do that, I can have, um, I can reveal more of who I am to myself. Y'all don't like realize that your process, being in your process, staying consistent and committed with who you are, like where you're going allows you to reveal to you more of who you really are. I know that was a mouthful, but your process reveals to you who you already are. Most people never get there. They never realize the potential that they really have and actually believe and have the self-worth and the self-respect and the confidence of who they actually can become. And guys, that's why I'm so adamant about calls like these. Like go live, you guys should be there every day. Seriously, I'm there. I'm, I try to be there twice a day. Um, sometimes it doesn't pan out, but I am there once a day at least, minimum, for sure. Because it allows me to reveal more to myself of who I really am and have those realizations. And calls like these, being around the campfire, we talk about it all the time. It's where you got to be. It's where you build your belief. It's where you shift your level of thinking. And honestly, guys, reinforce a lot of things that you're probably thinking um, in your head of what you should do, but it kind of validates it, right? Um, maybe you're thinking thoughts that maybe I've said today or you've heard before, and it's like, all right, yeah, that's, that, that's what that is. Let's go. I'm ready. Um, what was the last thing I want to say? All right, this is the last thing I'm going to say. And uh, this was huge. This was huge. And this was something that I really learned across my journey. A lot of you guys know that I've been doing the 75 hard. Um, just the beginning. Doesn't stop here. But one thing that Alex Moore was funny, he said it yesterday, and that was my realization of the morning. I literally wrote it down in my notebook. Um, you get to a point when you stay consistent long enough and you have clarity and depth of vision and you're coachable and you have the commitment to your non-negotiables. You do this long enough. You start, to, you start to look at things differently and you start to see yourself in a different light. You really start to take yourself more seriously, your time more seriously, your energy. And um, that's very, very important. And one thing that I had taken away from this entire journey is being able to develop the habit of doing the work when you don't feel like doing the work. Developing the habit of doing the work when you don't feel like it when it's not convenient, right? Y'all ever catch yourself? Don't worry. Everything I'm saying, guys, I've been there. And sometimes I still am there, but I've got to snap myself out of it. 
you ever you ever like do something for a short period of time and then you stop um because it's not convenient for you or you're too tired or something came up or like whatever it may be you ever go there um like this is what this has taught me doing the work long enough disciplining yourself long enough for it to become habit and now you've got a bunch of great habits you don't have to think about it it's automatic this is what you want to get with your trading plan with your strategy I don't even think about it. I'm just, this is what I'm looking for. I'm indifferent about everything. There's no emotion involved. This is my exit and my entry strategy. It's my risk management. I've got it calculated. My lot, my, my, my lot size, my position size, all of it. I just know. I'm not, there's no energy into it. That makes sense. It's automatic. And you get to that point with your trading and you can get to that point with everything in your life. You, then you only have, you know, your energy ready to expend towards um, you know, really, really necessary things that you need to make a decision for, right? Decision on. That's what Mark Zuckerberg said, and so many other professionals said, you need to get to that point where things are just so automatic. So whether it's in your trading, your day-to-day -day life, your fitness, your relationships, whatever, you want to get to that point. And uh, maybe you're there right now, maybe you're not. It doesn't matter. Time, time is something that, you know, you can't, you can't, uh, what's the word? You can't buy you can't outwork to get more time. You can't like spend or anything like that to get more time. It just is. And a lot of people like to focus on, you know, oh, you know, I'll do it next weekend. I'll do it this weekend. I'll do this, blah, blah, blah. It's like you only have right now. Everything else is just an illusion. Like, like days of the week, I had somebody tell me today, this is the last thing I'll say, guys. Um, I had somebody tell me today, you know, oh, um, you know, I think I'm going to start blah, blah, blah on, you know, after Labor Day after the weekend. I'm like, what does that even mean? Like, do you wait to do things because of like, because of a day of the week? Because every day is the same for me. Alex Morton said this yesterday. He, he was dropping so many things, y'all. Always show up, always stay, always stay for the good good. But he, uh, he said, every day is the same for me. I don't look at it as a weekend or a Monday. It's like, I do what I want, when I want, where I want. And even if you have a job, it doesn't matter. You go to your job, okay, cool, whatever but you still choose what you're doing with your day. I don't need to wait for the weekend to do something or after a holiday to do something. It's my life. Do you take yourself seriously or not? Do you have self-worth, self-respect or not? Do it now. So that being said, y'all, I am, uh, I'm just trying to make sure I didn't miss anything. I'm extremely fired up. I'm very, very grateful to have the opportunity to share something like this with you guys um, because of the massive amount of breakthroughs it's brought for me. And uh, hopefully there's been a couple aha moments for you throughout this call and you pulled one nugget, one piece of value, one idea, whatever it may be, to go out and uh, apply it into your life to get better results and, of course, to build better habits. That's what this is all about. Not just to be on here. Oh, I'm here. Name's on the screen. No. Be here, taking notes, ready to apply to be better. That's what this is about. So, guys, I appreciate you. Um, Oh, the other thing I was going to say is they're like literally in about 25 minutes, there's a chairman mentorship call. So if you are adamant about building the business, you want to develop your leadership and business skills overall, um, I'm going to post it in the chat. Uh, I think it's chairman 100, uh, Justin Owens. I remember the first time I saw him speak, I cried like a little baby because he just brought so much emotional connection to me and my life. Um, he's going to be on, he's going to be talking. This is something you guys should plug into Sundays. There's a lot of calls, but I like to think of it as there's a lot of value that you can tap into. So if you're free, you can be on there, jump on. I'll drop the link for you guys. And then later tonight, uh, Mike Sotero does a call at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. It's every Sunday. And he does like a, a weekly outlook. Um, it's really cool. You get to see a whole other, you know, ton of members that um, is within his organization, tap into, learn how he uses certain tools within the, within the platform. Um, and then this week we have zoom overview. So if you know somebody that you care about, you believe in, you, uh, you respect, and you know, should probably get plugged into this environment, this community, and honestly, this platform, share this with them. We do calls every week. Um, the, the time is actually going to be adjusted. I haven't let anybody know this. I apologize, but the call is actually going to be adjusted instead of, um, 3 PM Eastern standard time. It's actually going to be at 3:30 Eastern standard time moving forward. 3.30 Eastern Standard Time, 12.30 Pacific, okay? Just 30 minutes forward. Um, and it's going to be the same link. I'll drop that in the chat. And uh, honestly, guys, everything that I'm talking about right now is in that uh, welcome document. So if you don't have it, 
I'll uh, post it in the chat, bookmark it, save it, all that good stuff. Um, but I love you guys. I appreciate all of you. I hope you have an amazing Sunday. Get ready for the week. Prepare yourself. Write down what your vision is. Develop that. Build on it. And uh, I'll see you guys very soon. Peace out. Peace and love. Bye.